Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all the things that I've been loving for the past month. It's a really random correlation of pieces so I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm also going to try and keep this video a little bit shorter because I have noticed that I tend to ramble so we're going to jump straight on in and show you the pieces that I've been loving. So the first thing is a fashion accessory and this is a recent purchase of mine. It's a headband and it's one of those knotted kind of like velvet material headbands these are really popular a really really long time ago something to know about me is i don't like things when they're a trend i kind of will jump on it after the moment has passed um but i absolutely love this and i picked this up from poundland so it was an incredible deal and it's really good quality i mean it's pretty simple pretty basic you can tell that it's not like really really expensive but it's really good for what it is it's comfortable to wear and it's just really really cute so like i say this is a recent purchase i've only had this for i think a little under a week but i had to mention it because i've been wearing it every day since and i just know that i'm going to get so much wear out of it going forward i'm going to continue with hair and another thing that i've been really liking to wear recently in my hair just for comfort is a silky hair tie i find that these are a lot softer and more gentle on my hair if you watch previous videos of mine you know that i'm on a bit of a hair journey at the moment to try and grow my hair and improve the quality of it get it a little bit thicker and just overall in better condition after years and years of let's just say neglect um and so i've just got a bunch of these really nice scrunchies and they're super soft and silky and i've just noticed that they're just a lot nicer on my hair i also don't tie them as tight as you could go um i kind of like do one less than the tightest way that you can wear it just to kind of keep my hair in as good condition as possible and not cause as much damage so these are really functional and super cute too and then the last thing that i've got for hair this is again a relatively recent purchase of mine i think i've had this a couple of weeks basically i watched a youtube video i think it was shay whitney she was talking about the damaging effects of dry shampoo and also talc so i actually used to use talc in my hair just to kind of like absorb any grease and that worked better for me than any dry shampoo that i've ever used but talc is extremely harmful for you as you know it can lead to an abundance of health issues and so i wanted to kind of cut that out i didn't even realize that it's in a heck of a lot of face powders and stuff like that so i'm starting to slowly try to condense my usage of things that include harmful ingredients so the first stop was my dry shampoo so i've completely got rid of the talc and the dry shampoo and i'm now using this a cure dry shampoo so it is a powder that you pop into your hair and this is really good for brunettes because it does have a little bit of a darker tint to it and this is completely talc free so it's rosemary and cocoa brunette to dark hair dry shampoo so on the bottle it says easy to use fast acting dry shampoo that absorbs oil and removes grimes without water convenient and effective so all you do is you just twist the cap open and then you can just deposit it into your hair and then kind of i leave it for like a couple of seconds and then you just massage it in and then there's absolutely no trace of it whatsoever in your hair and the reason why i wanted to pick this up is because i recently cut a fringe in and it's a massive regret of mine but i'm gonna grow it out into like my curtain bangs again because i miss my curtain bangs now and this is kind of like, I'm trying to get you guys to hold me accountable. If I mention that I am intending on cutting a fringe in, don't let me do it. Because the last three times that I've done it, I've not liked it. So I don't think the fringe is for me anymore. I think it's curtain bangs all the way. But because I have kind of like a greasy forehead, um, this just comes in really, really handy. Rather than having to like wash my fringe every day. As you can see right now, I've scraped it up because I can't even deal with it today. So <laughs> we're just getting rid of the fringe altogether. But... This has been an absolutely incredible addition into my collection and this I picked up from Amazon. I'm going to stick with the clean ingredient products again. So moving on, this is another thing that was recommended by Shay Whitney and I've actually used this for a dual function purpose. So I have got this um, organic coconut oil and it's by Nativa and this has been really really incredible to use so i use this as a hair mask i also use this to kind of like slather on my body and oh my goodness it makes my skin so silky soft i'm not a hundred percent sold on the scent the scent of it is a little eh, but i can get over it it's not really much of a deal breaker for me i would rather have clean ingredients 
on my body absorbing into my skin and also into my hair i do find that when i use this as a hair mask my hair is super super silky soft afterwards so really happy with it as a hair mask and i'm also loving using it all over my body too so i'll talk about the next thing which i kind of like use to cover up the coconut oil scent and it is something that i've mentioned in a previous favorites video but i repurchased another bottle of it and so i had to tell you guys again because i'm just so obsessed with this perfume and it is next cashmere one it's super super affordable two the bottle's really good for the price that you pay you get 100 ml in this perfume bottle and the scent of this is just oh i really do think that this is my signature scent so if any of you want to know what i smell like on a daily basis try this go into next and just try like a sample of it because oh it is just incredible i have worn this for years and years and years now and i will continue to wear it for years and actually funnily enough somebody messaged me the other day on instagram and said that she bought it on my recommendation and she loves it so this is your sign to try a different perfume and try next cashmere the scent of it i would say is kind of like a perfumed baby powder that's the only way it's the only way that i can describe it but it is just like Oh, I don't know. It's just such a decadent smell. I really, really do love it. So I've just Googled this. So it basically says a soft and sensuous fragrance combining beautiful floral and delicate powdery musk. That's exactly what it is. It's a powdery musky smell. So, so good. So the top notes are bergamot and freesia. And the middle notes are rose and muguet. M-U-G-U-E-T. I don't know what that is. Muguet. I don't know. <laughs> and the base notes are musk and incense. This is such a delectable smell. And like I say, it is a really affordable price. I think this is like 16 pounds. So, so good. And I definitely, definitely recommend this. And then the final thing that I just wanted to show you, which is kind of like skincare body related kind of, is this Burt's Bees Cuticle Balm. I really do prefer using a cuticle balm over a cuticle oil. I just think cuticle oil is a little bit messy and this is just really easy and convenient and you can take it out on the go with you. You can pop it in your bag. I wouldn't want to put a cuticle oil in my bag for fear that it might potentially leak and ruin my handbag. So this is an absolutely incredible essential that I have to have in my handbag. And I think it's just like really stepped up my nail game. So as you can see here, it's just this balm. And I absolutely love Burt's Bees products. So I don't think I mentioned this is the lemon butter cuticle cream. So it's got a really nice citrusy smell to it. And it just makes your cuticles so soft. And it just makes your manicure look that much more professional. It just kind of like elevates it and takes it to the next level. So I've been really enjoying using this. And I think this I picked up from Amazon as well. I swear you can get everything on Amazon these days. It's just a one-stop shop. So sticking with nails, I'm gonna move on to two gel polishes that I've been loving recently and I have been interchanging between the two of them. So the first one I will show you is the one that I've got on my nails at the moment. I did this a few days ago and I'm just, I'm in the autumnal mood now. I want dark nails because I'm feeling all the autumnal vibes. I even got myself a pumpkin caramel coffee syrup the other day i'm fully in author mode this is a beetles gel nail polish and it's in their color a292 and it is the most decadent rich dark chocolatey brown color it's really hard to kind of like pick up on camera but i will insert a picture so that you'll be able to see it for yourself what it looks like on my nails it almost looks black it looks different in different lights. So sometimes it looks black, sometimes it looks brown, and sometimes it looks almost like a little bit burgundy. But I really wanted like a really dark chocolate brown color on my nails. And that was actually inspired by a YouTuber that I watch called Asha Mary Lou. She has the same color every single time in the autumn. And that just inspired this purchase. I couldn't find the one that she wears. And so I found this one on Amazon. And then because everybody and their mother is trying the Hailey Bieber nail trend at the moment, I have found a one-stop shop, meaning that you don't have to put a base color on and then the chrome powder on top. This is the glazed donut nail trend in one bottle which is so much more convenient it's so quick and the thing that i find about this is if i do a sloppy application you can't really tell because it is such a light color so i absolutely love that fact this is pure nails halo gel polish and this is in the shade first love so again i picked this up from amazon mine is absolutely disgusting and filthy i apologize about that but if you want to jump on the hayley bieber glazed donut nail trend then 
pick this up this is literally all you'll need and a top coat and you're set i'm starting to notice a little trend actually which is a lot of my purchases are from amazon i think it's just because i've got amazon prime and i just find it so convenient to have things like the next day when i need them i'm a very impatient person i'm working on it but I like to have my things kind of like when I want them basically and the next thing that I'm going to show you is a gorgeous eternity band that I picked up from Amazon so it's this stunning ring so it's a gold band with these cubic zirconia stones it's got one two three four five cubic zirconia stones the thing that I love about this I have actually shared in a favorites video an eternity band where it has these similar style stones all the way around the band. The one thing that I do find about that is it is actually a little bit uncomfortable to wear because the prongs actually kind of stick into your finger. This, they kind of start and stop at the perfect point so that when you put it on your finger, it kind of doesn't dig into the other fingers either side of it. I like the fact that there is a band, like a plain band, around the rest of the ring. It makes it a lot more comfortable to wear and this is just a really stunning, beautiful ring. Speaking of rings, I also picked up this absolutely stunning ring from Pandora. I've been on the hunt for a chunky, but not too chunky ring for a really, really long time and specifically for this finger. And I finally found it from Pandora. I'm so, so happy with it. It's kind of a mixture of these crisscross bands. Some of them have cubic zirconias running along them and some of them are just plain bands. I will again give you a close up of the ring so you can see it. And then it all kind of blends into one at the back of the ring. But I just think that this is so, so beautiful and I've been really enjoying wearing this. I've probably been wearing this every single day since I bought it. I don't actually think I've taken it off. So yeah, really happy with this purchase. And I actually got this from eBay. Speaking of eBay, I did actually try buying things secondhand from eBay um, and I found some incredible pieces. So I'm thinking of doing a sit down video and showing you all of the pieces that I actually have picked up because you can get some amazing stuff for an incredible deal and some of it's brand new. So yeah, I'm thinking of sharing that with you guys. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that video. So I'm gonna move on to a really random one now, but my next favorite is a library card so I recently joined our local library I think we've been going for maybe like the last month and a half to two months and it's incredible I mean my son loves story time he loves me reading him books he loves just kind of like having a browse through the books himself and this is a great way for us to try new books without me having to constantly purchase new books because frankly I don't have the space he has one two he has three drawers full of books and he also has a stack of books on top of the drawers. That's how many he has. And it's just getting a little bit ridiculous. I've even got rid of some of his books, kind of like his more babyish style books. Um, and I just don't have the space to keep buying more and more books. So I thought what we'll do is we'll join the local library and we can rent some books. So basically it's a completely free way for us to read all these new books that I never would have discovered if I'd have kind of just not gone to the library basically we found some incredible finds some really nice story time books some really nice books about kindness i'm really big on teaching my son about you know growing up to be a kind human being um which was lovely i really like that book i actually extended it and kept it for quite a while um there's some really good educational books another really nice thing about it is I can take him to the library and we can have story time at the library, just a bit of a change of scenery and it's really nice for him to kind of like sit, be in a different environment and pick out his own books. They also have activities there, um, they have like a colouring station, arts and crafts and it's just a fun thing to do if you kind of like get a little bit stir crazy around the house and you just want to get out for a little bit so I've been really really enjoying using my library card. So the next thing that I'm going to show you they kind of go hand in hand with each other. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys I'll just take the cable out is this kind of like night light star projector. I absolutely love this. I used this when he was small, very very small, like under a year and he loved to kind of like watch the patterns up on the ceiling but what I've started to do recently is to try and get a really nice calming nighttime routine so what I will do is I'll plug this in so that the room is dark but it has like the stars on the ceiling or the random patterns that it generates on the ceiling um, and then we'll do story time kind of like under the stars which is really really nice for me and him and we've been really enjoying it so you can also connect your phone to this so you can have white noise playing over this but I don't really need it for that function anymore and this you can pick up from Amazon I think this is where I got this one from you can get this in white or black and I went for the white option. And then to go with that, I'll just pop this 
here and then to go with that i've been absolutely loving using my oil diffuser i've been popping this on at night and i've been adding a couple drops of lavender essential oils to just make the room really kind of calm and relaxing and just get us ready to settle down and sleep and i actually noticed that he slept a lot better last night so i do think that this new nighttime routine is starting to pay off and it's definitely improving his sleep which means it's improving mine which makes me super super happy and this is from amazon you can pick this up from there and this i think i got it from the range i think it was like a pound for a set of three then to go with nighttime because the weather is still warm it is still quite hot at night i've not really been wanting to wear much to bed because i do get very very hot especially after you first fall asleep i find that i wake up really really hot so i can't really be covered for that first stint of sleep that i have so i have got this really comfy very lightweight silky nike which i've been absolutely loving and again you can pick this up from amazon um so it's just got kind of like this lacy trim at the top it's really nice because it does have adjustable straps you can adjust it to the perfect length for you meaning that you can obviously like keep the girls in place and then it is super soft and silky and then the thing that i love is that it kind of goes up at both sides so the front and the back are longer than the sides it's really really nice um i'm not going to show you a picture of me wearing it because obviously it's a little bit revealing but it's just super comfy and really nice to wear on these hotter evenings to sleep in and it's super cute too so my loves that is everything for today's video i really do hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you maybe got some inspiration for pieces that maybe you would want to add to your collection i know that i posted about the star projector on my instagram and i actually had some messages from people asking where it was from so that they could purchase it from themselves so I definitely think that if you do have little ones i think that's incredible i've also seen videos of people that put it in the bathroom and turn the lights off when they're giving their toddler a bath to kind of like make it this magical sort of real experience for their kids so i definitely think that they're worth their weight in gold so like i said before i really do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please do remember to give it a thumbs up just to let me know also if you're not subscribed already please do consider hitting that subscribe button it is free and i would love to have you come back to watch more videos until next time though i really do hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are and i hope to see you in my next one bye